In problem number 31 of section 2.2, .2, we uh, compute the midpoint Riemann sum of the function cosine of x uh, using a partition that we're given, which is negative 3 pi over 2, uh, negative pi over 2, pi over 2, and 3 pi over 2. Uh, now, the first thing we want to do is uh, compute, look at the um, sample set. So the sample says, well, the midpoint. So uh, we're partitioning into this into uh, three different intervals uh, with the uh, endpoints negative 3 pi over 2, negative pi over 2, et cetera. And we want to look at the uh, midpoint of each interval and take each midpoint to be in our sample set. Now, the midpoint between uh, negative pi over 2, negative 3 pi over 2 will be uh, just negative pi. And between negative pi over 2 and pi over 2, uh, midpoint will be 0. And uh, midpoint between pi over 2 and 3 pi over 2 will be positive pi. Um, and right, maybe a more explicit way to, uh, to figure those out would to actually just be to take the average of the two endpoints. That will give you give you the point right in between the two. All right, so now we can set up our Riemann sum. So the Riemann sum using the um, midpoint uh, as, our, as the sample set will be cosine first of negative pi uh, times the interval length from which it, from, that it came from. But if we look here, we see that the um, interval length of each interval is just pi. So we can put pi. And I'll have plus cosine of 0 uh, times pi. And finally, plus cosine of pi times pi. Uh, we can simpli simplify this. Um, cosine of negative pi, which is also the same as cosine of pi, is negative 1. Uh, so we have uh, negative pi plus cosine of 0 is 1. Uh, so we have plus pi. And cosine of pi is negative 1, so we have minus pi. So we see that uh, these first two terms will cancel out. And we're left with minus pi as, uh, as the Riemann sum, which is, of course, approximating the integral of cosine of x over uh, the interval negative 3 pi over 2 to 3 pi over 2.